I'm Penny Everett and I work for Verse One Technologies Limited as a web accessibility consultant. This is a short talk about making videos accessible to the deaf. You may have concentrated in the past on ensuring that your website is accessible to the blind, but it is estimated that there are nearly 9 million hearing impaired people in the UK and no doubt you will have some deaf visitors to your website. These visitors will need to be considered if you have any videos or links to videos with sound on your website. Surprisingly, it's not always just speech that needs to be explained to the deaf user. Anything that the hearing user needs to hear, the deaf user needs to know about too. Let me give you an example. A housing association prepares a video about antisocial behaviour and a section of the video shows a gang of motorcyclists revving up their engines. This sound needs to be explained to the deaf user because it's relevant to the understanding of the video. Unless you have a friend, relative or work associate who is deaf, it's difficult to get into the shoes of someone who has this impairment and to fully understand how frustrating it can be for them if they don't know what is being said in a video. But anyone who is involved in uploading content to a website has a duty to comply with the Equality Act, which was published in 2010. Doing your utmost to avoid excluding impaired users is a given. And this applies just as much to videos as it does to any other content. Nowadays, more and more organisations are linking to videos which they have uploaded to YouTube. For instance, just because they are not actually on your website doesn't exonerate you from still having to comply with the Equality Act. Unfortunately, if they are your videos, then you are responsible for them, and that means ensuring that they comply. In simple terms, this means adding a transcript of exactly what is said on the video to your web page as an absolute minimum. But if you are aiming for AA compliance with the latest web content accessibility guidelines, then you will need to add synchronised subtitles or captions as they are also known. Unfortunately, you cannot rely on YouTube's automatic captions. A carefully produced video of the CEO's welcoming speech on the home page can become a huge source of amusement seeing how YouTube's speech recognition software has translated his or her words. Recently, YouTube has made it a lot easier to add your own captions to your video. And there are two ways of doing this. Timed captions, which is one method, but it can take quite a long time to do this. Whereas a much easier and quicker method involves simply typing the spoken words into a plain text file, such as Notepad for Windows or Notes for Apple Macs, using a basic set of rules. And you can have a video with synchronized subtitles within seconds. As a rough guide, it will take about one and a half hours to create subtitles for a five minute video. And as long as the words in the transcript match the speech exactly, the uploaded text file will sync with the video and the subtitles will be displayed at the same time that the words are being said. Once you have added your subtitles to your YouTube video, you will have a video with what's known as closed captions, which means that they can be switched on or off, open or closed. Subtitles will not only help your deaf viewers, but also anyone in a noisy environment or a work situation. If you do not intend to use the YouTube platform and prefer to upload a video to your own website instead, you will need to add subtitles to the video itself. We can advise you on composing the disclaimer for your accessibility page if you are not currently able to fully comply with the requirements of the Equality Act. Although I have to say 
that without an adequate reason as to why the deaf user has been excluded, or a time scale saying when the omission will be rectified, a court of law would not be very sympathetic. This would apply particularly to a large organisation with obvious resources, both in terms of finance and personnel. If you would like help with adding captions to your videos, or you would like a copy of our leaflet on how to make your videos accessible, or any other advice about accessibility, then please do contact us at info at verse1.com. Thank you.